Good morning. And on behalf of the prayer partner team, I warmly welcome you to Unity Spiritual Center Ottawa's online serenity service for May. Today we are celebrating the power of power. My name is Linda McCabe, and I'm pleased to be one of the prayer partners for sending today along with Mary Way and Susan Hagar. Before we start our service, we would like to acknowledge the Algonquin Nation on whose traditional territory we are holding this online service, and we gratefully acknowledge them for past, present, and future stewards of this land. Miigwech. I invite Mary to open this morning's service with prayer. Mary, are you there? Sorry, everyone. I'm, hmm. I shall start over. As we prepare for our time together today, let us set aside for a while the busyness of our day and all our worldly concerns, all those to-do lists and thoughts that are running through our head, and really sink into the peace and quiet and this gift that you have given yourself, this gift of time, this gift of prayer. So I invite you to close your eyes and to take a deep cleansing breath. Breathe out and release all that no longer serves your unfolding good. Rest in this peace and wholeness as we focus on our true divine nature. For we are infinite, eternal, love, life, and power. We open our hearts and minds to limitless possibilities that are ours, knowing that divine light shines in us and through us. For these blessings and this precious time together, we are truly grateful. And so it is. Amen. Thank you, Mary. So this month, we have been practicing our inner power of power. Power is a gift of the divine. We can see daily examples of power that is being abused and power that is being used for the betterment of mankind. And much, most of us have been taught to fear power and authority. The unity offers a metaphysical understanding of power. Power is the innate ability to control our thoughts and feelings when guided by spiritual wisdom. In other words, power is not to be used to grab a bigger market share or for controlling others. Rather, we have power for the purpose of mastering our own thoughts and feelings in order to come to a greater awareness of the divine. It is a God-given ability that enables us to attain the end result of bringing forth divine life, affirming ideas on earth. So all month, we have been affirming, the power of my thoughts and words moves me ever closer to the truth of my being. This is powerful guidance. So this week, we are not following a regular order of service in order to fully experience the benefits of prayer, song, music, and meditation. So let me explain the flow of the service. There are five sections. At the beginning of each section, you will see a new affirmation on the screen. We will offer a reflection and then invite you to repeat the affirmation with us while remaining muted. Then we will play a related piece of music and you are invited to enter the silence for meditation. Remember that you may need to adjust the speaker volume occasionally uh, if the sound changes during, during our playing. During the music and in the meditative silence that follows, you will see the affirmation and peaceful image displayed on the screen. The gong will then sound to indicate the end of silence. 
So let us begin the with the sharing of our prosperity. Let us know that the divine presence in nature within us is our source, guidance, and protection. Let us remember that divine flow and substance are always within us, no matter what is happening in our outer world. As this is true for each of us, it's also true for us collectively. And we are grateful here at USCO that your gifts enable us to continue to offer these uplifting services all throughout the month and ensure that we are in divine flow together as community. And the many ways to contribute are featured in the weekly newsletter, or you can go directly to the website, unityottawa.org and click on the donate button. So we affirm together, let's say this affirmation, divine love as me blesses and multiplies all that I give, all that I have and all that I receive. And I am grateful. So let us take a moment and listen to Blessed Always by Ricky Bears. Blessed always, blessed always for the arms of God surround. So let us begin this time of sacred inner reflection, a time for remembering, releasing, and for serenity, a time for deepening our connection with God that some call spirit, divine presence, creator, source of all that is. Please use the name you are most comfortable with. As we draw a calming breath, we easily withdraw our attention from the activity around us. We turn our focus inward, entering the sanctuary within our heart space. There is peace within. When we are at peace, we are open and allow ourselves to experience fully all the joy and fulfillment that life is bringing us now. We open our hearts and minds as we begin the sacred time of prayer and meditation. Let our words be your words. Let us begin. The creative power of divine mind is everywhere present. From the book, Christ Returns, Jesus, during his time in the desert, describes his realization that this creative power he was experiencing was infinite, eternal, universal, filling all space beyond sky, oceans, earth and all living things. He saw it was mind power. It was the creative power of mind. He goes on to say that there is no point where this divine creative power of mind is not. The creative power of divine mind is everywhere present. And together, the creative power of divine mind is everywhere present. Again, 
the creative power of divine mind is everywhere present. Breathe into divine mind and let it flow through you, embodying creativity as you let the music guide you into the silence. power invisible and you see it everywhere and every day one power indescribable and you speak of it with every word you say mysterious until you know the truth as simple as the love inside of you call it god call it spirit call it jesus call it lord call it buddha baba angels wings or heaven's door but whatever name you give it it's all one power can't you see it's the power of Colors, different name, the different is only dangerous when we forget that in the heart we're all the same. And we'll remember once we close our eyes to see that such distances were never meant to be. Call it God, call it Spirit, Spirit. call it Jesus, Jesus, call it Lord, call it Buddha, Bahá'u'lláh, Hashem or Heaven's Door. It's Muhammad, it's your mind, it's your soul or it's your sign. It's the universe, it's music, Mother Earth or Father Time. But whatever name you give it, it's all one power. Whatever name you give it, it's the very air we breathe. Oh, it's the power of the love in you and me. One power, oh, one power, one power is what we are.
The source of my power is divine mind. Jesus realized that human mind was drawn from divine creative mind like a candle lit by the sun. All outer form is an expression of inner consciousness. Everything visible is manifesting a different state of consciousness, which determines the composition and form. It is the state of my consciousness that determines what is visible. Charles Fillmore states that prayer makes each person a master in the realm of divine ideas. Prayer connects me with divine mind, that field of consciousness that is life itself. The source of my power is divine mind. Let's affirm together. The source of my power is divine mind. And once more, the source of my power is divine mind. Breathe into divine mind and let it flow through you, bringing power as you let the music guide you into the silence. When I look in your eyes, I see the beloved, I see the beloved looking back at me. When I stand next to you, I can feel the beloved, feel the beloved in you. You are in my soul, you are my inspiration, with you in my heart, I am never alone, we are one, there is no separation when I rest in you I'm home when I touch your heart I feel the beloved I feel the beloved touching me and when I open my heart I open to the beloved to the beloved in you You are in my you are my inspiration with you in my heart I am never alone we are one there is no separation when I rest in you I'm home when I touch your To the beloved, to the beloved in you, beloved in you, beloved in you, oh beloved that you.
breath. I am divine power exercising mastery over my life. Spiritual power flows into my body from the divine center at the top of my head and is released in the form of radiant energy through the center in the throat. I am responsible for my thoughts, ideas, beliefs, images, feeling, experiences, attitudes, and actions. The energy of power is released when I consciously speak positive, powerful words of truth. I use discernment to speak words of inspiration, encouragement, and support that flow from my peace-filled mind to bless others. Vigilant with my thoughts and words, I transform any inner discord into peace. I am divine power exercising mastery over my life. Together, I am divine power exercising mastery over my life. And again, I am divine power exercising mastery over my life. Breathe in to divine power and let it flow through you, bringing integrity and mastery as you let the music guide you into the silence. It's time to stop redress forgive myself for thinking that I am small and less than who and what I am divine creation with a simple job express my thoughts and feelings with the faith of happy and carefree then limited thinking ensued taught to believe that I was not enough the story became my truth it's time to stop stop redress Forgive myself for thinking that I am small and less than who and what I am. Divine creation with a simple job. Express my thoughts and feelings with the faith of God.
it shape the way I see things in the world Each one's a potent prayer It's time to stop, stop, redress Forgive myself for thinking That I am small Less than who and what I am Express my thoughts and feelings with the faith of God. I choose to live completely as unified and whole. And in that full engagement, reclaim my truest role. I am wondrously alive with the inner radiant light of divine power. God is light in the center of me. My mind is one with divine mind. With every breath, my mind seeks and finds spiritual understanding. The light of understanding guides my way. Thoughts become productive and the way ahead becomes clear in the light of spirit. By my divine nature, 
I cannot be powerless or ill. My life is meant to be joyful and radiant. Therefore, I choose to release any hesitancy to shine the full light of my spiritual awareness in the world. I am wondrously alive with the inner radiant light of divine power. Together, I am wondrously alive with the inner radiant light of divine power. And again, I am wondrously alive with the inner radiant light of divine power. Breathe into this radiant light and let it flow through you, bringing joy and upliftment as you let the music guide you into the silence. Yes, I I am here to serve. Yes, I am. I know forever more. 
hold the world in a vision of harmony and peace. Love has no polarity. Fear is an illusion creating shadow states which create separation. When I have loving thoughts and all my deeds and actions are based on love, I am reflecting my true nature, which is divine love. My inner reality is 144,000 times more powerful than anything that is external to me. Love is my true power. I am one with the world around me. Every man is my brother, every woman my sister. We are one in God. In a state of oneness, I imagine holding hands, embracing arms, walking together on earth. I hold this image in love with the world and I pray. I hold the world in a vision of harmony and peace. Together, I hold the world in a vision of harmony and peace. Again, I hold the world in a vision of harmony and peace. Breathe into this vision and let it flow through you, bringing harmony and peace as you let the music guide you into the silence.
It is time now to become aware of your surroundings. Notice your breath. Observe how your body is feeling. Wiggle your fingers and toes and bring yourself back to this moment. Were you able to recognize your inner power of power and identify ways in which your power shows up in your life? We give thanks to Divine Mind for any insights we have gained during this service. We take these insights away with us for further reflection in the coming days. I now invite Mary to offer a prayer, blessing all those in our hearts and minds. Take a moment and along with the names that you may have put in the chat box, call to mind anyone or any situation that you wish to hold in prayer. Let my words be your words. As I take a moment to breathe deeply, I sink into my sacred heart and open to the unlimited peace and love of source, the power and magnificence of divine nature. I recognize that God is the one power and presence an exhaustible, inexhaustible current of life-giving love and energy. Knowing this, I affirm that I am, and therefore you are, all are, individualized expressions of this power and presence. In steadfast faith, I claim divine power, dominion, and mastery and know that it is, in, it is present in all people and all situations. In this knowing, all that no longer serves is lovingly released. All is enfolded in divine love and wholeness. I am overflowing with appreciation for this reminder of the truth that I know and for its fulfillment in present circumstances. And so it is, amen. We go knowing that where we go, God is, peace is. Go in peace, go in love. Go into the world with great power to expand consciousness and transform lives. We give thanks and appreciation for this time together and the reflections of our service. Please join us for fellowship after this final song. I encourage you to stand up and sing the song Rend Collective called Your Name is by Rend Connective called Your Name is Power. And when you're singing this song, this song is being sung to you your name is power. You're the only answer to the darkness. You're the only right among the wrong You're the only hope among the chaos You are the voice that calls me on Louder than every lie My sword in every fight The truth will chase away the night Your name is power over dark Captives, mercy for the broken and the hopeless. Your name is faithful in the battle, glory in the struggle. Mighty, it won't let us down or fail us. Your name is power. Your name is power.
Christ light arrives in heaven, opens Holy Spirit, let us hear it. When you speak, the church awakens. We believe the change is coming. Holy Spirit, let us see. 